Hi Tableau users, my name is Liz and I'm a consultant at Innerworks. Today we're going to take a look at how to create a combined access chart. Combined access charts allow us to show two separate measures on the same axis. For example, maybe we have budget sales and our actual sales values and we want to show them as two bars on the same chart. Or maybe we have sales and profit and we want to show them both as lines over time on the same chart. We can use a combined axis to build both of those charts, and that's what we're going to do today. So let's jump in. For our first example, I'm going to bring sales up to rows, and then I'm going to look at my sales values in my, each of my different markets. Then I also want to view my budget sales on the same axis. So I'm going to left click and drag budget sales over on top of my sales axis. As I hover it over my sales axis, I see two translucent green bars. And this is what is telling me we're getting ready to create a shared access chart. So I'll drag uh, my budget sales numbers over and drop it off right onto the sales axis. We see Tableau has done a couple things. First, Tableau has brought in the measure names and measure values pills. So we see measure names on columns and filters we see measure values on rows. If you don't know much about measure names and measure values, I'd encourage you to jump over to the InnerWorks blog, www.innerworks.com backslash blog, where you can read a blog post about how measure names and measure values help organize our charts in Tableau. Another thing that happened when we built the shared access chart is that the title on our axis went from saying sales to saying value because we now have two values on the axis. It's not just sales, it's also budget sales. So we can right click on our axis and edit the title of that axis. So because sales and budget sales are both shown in dollars, I'll title my axis dollars. If we want our sales and our budget sales bars to be different colors, I can hold control down and left click and drag measure names onto color. And now, my sales and my budget sales bars are two different colors. Finally, instead of using a legend, I might want to color my title so that my user can just read the title and know what colors reference which measures. So I would say sales and budget sales. Um, and I would color my sales in orange, and my budget sales in blue since that's the color in the chart. Now I don't even need this legend. Our second example, we wanted to show sales and profit over time as a line. So I'll bring sales to rows, and I'll right click and drag date to columns, and I'll choose continuous months. Now I have sales as a line going over continuous months. And if I left click and drag profit and hover it onto the sales axis, we again get this combined axis chart. So now our sales is in orange, our profit is in blue, and our axis once again needs to be changed into dollars. So now you know how to build a combined axis chart, also known as a shared axis chart. If you'd like to learn more, head over to the InnerWorks blog, www.innerworks.com backslash blog.